Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 10th through the 16th. I'm using the vice versa deck so there's there's pictures on both sides, okay? One would be reverse per se and the other one would be upright. It's a little bit different. Um, I did cut this deck. We did have the Eight of Cups on top but it was like the Eight of Cups in reverse So and somebody was looking back at what they had left. And I decided I was going to cut the deck because, you know, I, that's the right thing to do, right? So I cut the deck and I get you. This is you, man or woman. Um, you know, closing yourself off a bit. You may feel a little withdrawn. You may feel a little detached at this time. Really in your thoughts, really in your head. Maybe a little overly emotional. You know, your thoughts are fluid at this time. And it feels as though you're, you are, you're probably not looking back, you know. You are, but you aren't. That's what the thoughts are. You are, but you aren't. You're looking back. You're not wanting to look back. But what's behind you is really bothering you. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and cut the deck again. See what comes up. Now, this would be like the reversed temperance, okay? Pride is an issue. Pride. It is. Your pride may be getting in the way of your happiness. Now, do you know? I'm sure that you do. Everything happens for a purpose. The temperance card is a card of purpose. Perhaps whatever it is that you are, that's bringing you down, that's making you upset, that's causing... Um, anxiety or making you overly emotional is being driven by pride. Okay? Perhaps whatever has happened, happened to make you face your pride. I mean, I'm just saying. Because this is a card of evolvement. It's a card of, you know, change. So when things happen, they happen to make you change. Okay? So, you know, it feels as though things are unbalanced right now. Things You're not feeling very peaceful and harmonious with where you're at. With some, Probably with some of the decisions that you're making, you're not feeling at peace. In order to bring peace back, you have to turn around and face your pride. open your heart it feels like you're, because with that queen of cups reversed or you know with her back turned it's like she's closing off her heart you need to open your heart you act out of love not out of pride right i mean it's not about being right it's not about proving a point it's not about punishing another person it's about love It feels as though, you know, you're, you're trying to make a decision. You're in the process of making a decision. Trying to decide what the right thing to do is. And it feels like you're, this is the logical side of it, okay? Trying to make the most logical decision. Mind versus heart. So you're making a decision based on what's logical You know, you're trying to keep things structured and organized. You're protecting yourself, all dressed up in your armor. Um, you're probably, you're probably gaining some new skills, you know, through whatever it is that you're going through. You're learning some new skills and you're probably, um, you're definitely, Wanting to be the uh, in uh, the authoritative role, okay? We have authority and authority, okay? I am the boss. <laughs> so 
So it feels as though you guys are doing everything in your power to make the right decisions for yourself. It's like, you know, you're choosing the logical route rather than the most peaceful route, okay? Because here we have this fight, you know? And it's basically two egos fighting each other. I have to win. I have to win. Let me get this focused in. Looks like you're standing firm. You're standing firm on your decisions. Standing strong. Demanding respect. I'm demanding respect by standing my ground. I will fight to the bitter end for respect. I will fight to the bitter end for this respect. I want everybody to see, because there's watchers here. People are watching this. I want everybody to see my strength. I want everybody to see how strong I am. I want everybody to see that I will not fail, that I will win this game. really worried about what society and your followers have to say. That's the truth. Therefore, you're sacrificing a happy relationship. You're sacrificing love. for pride. There's only one love card in this reading and it's over here. And there's all kinds of pride and ego and sacrifice for it you know you're choosing you're choosing this struggle it's time to let go of that old perspective it is. That's what this card means. It's time to let go of that old pers old perspective. It's time to realize what really matters to you. It is. You need to have a new outlook. You've been resisting a change. But while you've been resisting and, and being stuck in this, this spot of resistance you've been hurting you can't stop looking at the hurt you can't stop thinking about what has happened trying to teach somebody trying to teach somebody a lesson 
You're trying to teach somebody. That's what he's doing. He's teaching somebody a lesson. Teaching. We have the tower underneath the decision that you have made. Standing strong, refusing to budge, refusing to budge. It's not, it's not bringing you any happiness. It's bringing you, it's making you feel broken. But your pride is intact, right? Your pride is intact, so we're good. It's okay for me to feel broken and hurt as long as my pride is intact and everybody else that is watching me can see. How strong I am. But, deep down inside, there's a lot of hurt. Because you keep going back to what has been lost. You can't stop thinking about it. It feels as though at this point you probably have made the decision made the decision to involve yourself in a false connection to bury the hurt. We have the Seven of Wands. Trying to figure out how you're gonna, how you're gonna get, how am I really gonna get to the other side? There's a lot of battling going on, okay? This is a battlefield and we have battling here. You're really battling. You're battling your thoughts with that Queen of Cups is the first card reversed, basically. You're battling whether you want to step back onto that field, whether you want to step onto that battlefield or not. Or do you want to keep being on top? You know, do you got to keep being on top or, are you or do you want to fight? I mean, come on now. What is it that you want? Do you want to fight for what you want? If you're really that strong, you're going to fight for what you want or you you got to be on top. You got to be on top, right? Four, seven. Eleven. Four plus seven equals eleven. Faith and trust in a divine partnership. Whatever, we're not going to go there. But there is an opportunity for happiness here, for love, a new relationship. If you could just see the opportunity. If you could if you could find the real strength and take off that armor. Armor is protection. 
if you could find your inner strength to take off that armor and open your heart, there's an opportunity for, for real love here. But you're really struggling. You are really, really struggling because I think you're involved in a false foundation somewhere. With the Tower card, somebody is involved in something that is false. It's not concrete. It's logical. Yeah, it's logical. Whatever you're involved in, it's logical. But it's not centered around the heart, okay? It's a good way to protect yourself, right? And it's a good way to hurt the other person. It is. It's a good way to hurt the other person that you're trying to teach a lesson to. I get it. I got it. I understand completely. But the one person that it's truly hurting the most, yeah, it's hurting the other person, but it's hurting you. Because you can't stop looking at it. You can't stop letting it hurt you. Maybe you have to make some compromises. That three of pentacles is compromise. You got to make some compromises here. Ah, somebody's not acting with integrity. The page of pentacles reverse. Not finding the moral backbone to do the right thing. Not answering the call. It's like a golden opportunity is floating away. Your golden opportunity is floating away because you have something to prove. Seriously. You have something to prove. You don't have to be hanging there. You don't have to be stuck. Look at the look on his face. I will not budge. I will not prove. I have to prove my point. So your golden opportunity is heading south. But... Death. Of course, of course. Makes sense. Something is dying. Something is ending. Look at the fire in her eyes or his eyes. Now, what is a black flag? What's a black flag? I can't remember. Death, basically. It's over, it's done. Done, 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 done. Because you won't step down. You refuse to change. Somebody is broadening their horizons and headed in a new direction. Somebody is. Maybe it's you. This is, this is death. Release, transition, crossing that barrier. The world is in my hands.
you guys have to make some sort of decision as to whether you want to keep staying where you're at or do you want to move forward? Somebody is staying in something or they're in something that is a complete disaster. Okay, it's a mess. It's a fucking mess. Look at it. It's not even, it's a fucking mess. It's logical, but it ain't stable in any way whatsoever. It's not even what you want, but you're staying there to prove a point, but whatever. Okay, that's fine. This two of wands is, you have two paths. Do you choose to stay stuck where you're at or do you choose to have a renewal? Do you choose to transition? Do you choose to release? There's an opportunity for togetherness here. To come together with somebody. To work together. If you could stop withdrawing, because this is withdrawal, and perhaps cooperate, with your own feelings, okay? With your I'm looking at this card still with your own feelings. You you're refusing this is resisting change. You're refusing to follow your heart. Because you're taking the most logical approach even though there's no nothing solid in it. There's nothing so it's going to break down anyway. It is. With the tower. Yeah, it's logical. Wherever you're at right now, it's logical, but it ain't love. Okay? And maybe you don't want love. I, hey, I, I, whatever. Anyway, we have the, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, hanging around, stuck, resisting that change, okay? I refuse to budge, even though it's not making me happy. Your card. Not making you happy. Yeah, you may be enlightened. And you're probably being enlightened the hard way. With that tower right next to it. You're getting some enlightenment all right. Because you're, you're really hurting over this enlightenment. Yeah, you might go back over that bridge. And you might, you might you know, forget about it for a day or two or whatever. But it, you always go back over, okay? You go back over to the hurt. Because it will not leave you. Until you deal with it. Okay? You have to deal with it. You have to be strong enough to deal with it. Pushing it aside. And hiding it. Hiding that hurt. And not dealing with it. And just burying it. You know, pushing it to the side. Is not going to just make it dissolve. I feel as though you guys are maybe involved in a false foundation, a false commitment, a false scenario with somebody that's safe. It's safe. But I don't see any love in this situation. I don't. You may have thought the grass was greener on the other side. You may have thought that, you know, I'm going to go this route. It's the most logical route. I'm going to fall in love with this person. It's all going to work out. You know, I'm going to, I'm, they're going to help me to heal from, from whoever it is that I, I, you know, can't let go of. You know, they're going to help me. We're going to, we're going to move forward, blah, 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 blah. This is the most logical route. I'm going to transition into this. Uh, and that's going to allow me to release, but it hasn't because you're still stuck. 
And now you've basically got a third party situation because you're with somebody, but you're in love over here. Your love is over here. So now you have an opportunity that's it's going away because you're not doing the right thing. It's it is. It's literally moving away. Now, what about the future? This is about facing the battle. Can you step off of this rock back into this field? Can you do it? We have the Six of Swords. There's an opportunity to go together. To face at the storm together. Justice. It's about doing the right thing. It's about balancing the scales. So it looks as though somebody the truth is about to come out. The truth is about to come out. Justice is about to be served. This is a card of integrity, fairness, surrounding a choice. Somebody has to make a choice in regards to who they love. Fighting, and we have fighting here. So I'm not sure if you're gonna go after the one you love. I have a hard time believing that because the ego is so big over here. Huge. Okay? It is. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't think we ever will. Um, but anyway, um, I feel as though there is somebody that may want to come clean with the justice card, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. It's like somebody is ready to come clean because these are both fighting for what you want. Both of these cards. It's about going after what, stepping into the battlefield to get what I want. Hmm. <clears throat> Ace of Cups. But unfortunately, I mean, it's basically the reversed. But it's still good. It's still good. There's an opportunity for love, but her back is turned. She's walking away. Oh, son of a bitch. So, you know, if you want love, you have to go get it before it turns cold, before it's dead completely. Because it appears that this, whoever this love is that you are trying to teach a lesson to that you can't get over is walking away. It's, it's dying. It's turning to stone. It's, the back is being turned. You see her? Look at that. Okay. Somebody else 
is coming for your love. There's another person over here. Somebody else is going to get your love. The one, the one that you that the one that you're focused on. Okay. Somebody is coming to free. Now, if this is this could be you. This could be you. Somebody could be coming to get you. But I think this is for the women. If you're a Pisces woman, somebody be, could be coming in to save you. If you're a Pisces man, your love is about to be swapped up by somebody else. Unless you, this could be you going to get your love before she leaves. Either way, she's turning her back. This woman is turning her back. And moving forward with a partner, whether it's you or somebody else. Justice is about to be served. And happiness awaits. Happiness awaits. Somebody's coming to the rescue. Somebody's willing to fight. You've got a competitor, Pisces. Oh my freaking God. That's exactly what this is. You have got a competitor. It's time to do the right thing. time to realize what do you want your future to look like what do you want your future to look like is this what you want is this what you want in three years from now is this what you want I feel as though there is a new opportunity unfolding in front of you in which you have the opportunity to keep staying in the mindset that you are in or, or change Release. Let go of the authoritative role. Let go of the thought that you have to be in charge. Anyway, I hope that you are prepared. I hope that you are prepared for a a new a new outlook because that's what I see. I feel like there's a new outlook that is about to be sprung upon you that may involve a bridge being burned. Whether the bridge gets burned by you or the other person, 
I believe that there will be a, a bridge that is burned forever. Okay? Something is ending. Something is ending. It's over. It's done. Okay? With that death card. It's over. It's done. And it is because somebody... is needs somebody needs a transformation it's time it's time for a major transformation a major change in your life that's what this is be prepared for a major change with the tower the death the hangman the justice card a major change is upon you and i think that this may entail even moving like traveling moving like moving moving somebody is moving whether it's you that are moving or your your this loss is somebody's moving. You could be moving. Or the person that you're dealing with is moving. Somebody is moving. Okay? They are. Somebody is moving. And there's a major transformation. There's a major shift. So be prepared for some major changes coming up. I feel as though you are about to experience a whole new beginning in life. That is probably going to make you very happy. It really is. With this Ten of Cups, it's going to make you happy. But however that makes, that makes you happy is, is going to be up to you. This is about you have to make a decision as to what is going to make you happy. That's what this is. You have to make the decision as to what is going to make you happy. And it does have to do with love. Do you want love? Or do you want, want this person that you love to turn your back and whatever? Time is of the essence because somebody is walking away for good. I know my worth, whether this is for you or the person you're dealing with. If you are a man, this is the woman that you're dealing with. If you are a woman, this is you. Walking away from a situation because you know your worth. If you are a man, this is the woman that you are dealing with who knows her worth. As far as the women Pisces goes, I think that the women are turning their backs on a situation that was undeserving of their love. If this is for the Pisces man, I feel as though the woman is turning her back on you. You're the loser. You're the, you are the loser in this situation. For the Pisces woman, you need to stop focusing on that loss. And let yourself be rescued. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And on the bottom, separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Ain't that the truth?
So I feel like this is a week of perhaps saying goodbye for good. Lesson has been learned. 